The Chinese government says science and technology constitute the nation's primary productive forces. In plain English, that means they are important, very important, to China's continued growth and development. It's an idea that's inspired decades of technological advances in China. And as the country looks back on the 13th five-year plan, and everything it's achieved over the past half a decade, a few numbers stand out. In the Global Innovation Index, released by the World Intellectual Property Organization, from 2015 to 2020, China jumped from 29th to 14th place. China has had technological development and has taken opening up measures. It has also been benefiting from them. China is also a collaborator and contributor to international cooperation and technological advancements. China's growth spending on research and development reached more than 2.2 trillion yuan in 2019. That's around 33 billion U.S. dollars, and nearly doubled the figure from 2015. It's a number that accounts for more than 2.2 percent of the country's GDP. But on the global tech front, challenges remain. Minister Wang acknowledged as much when responding to a question put to him by CGTN. The collaboration has been playing a major role across the globe, but the sector has turned into a major battlefield. We do recognize that. Many Chinese high-tech companies and scientists are being discriminated against overseas. But no matter what, technological development requires international cooperation. Minister Wang says China will further open up its technology sector for further cooperation with global partners. He says the country will take into account both its development and security and maintain a fair and open working environment for scientists in the field, spearheading even more innovation. Sun Ziyuan, CGTN, Beijing.